Okay, so, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna explain real quick. I wanted to go to the Ozarks because I started watching, um, who? Luke on YouTube. Seven Trumpets Prepper, because I was, like, watching him. I started getting into prepping, and he had a lot of videos about truth, like the flat earth, and other things like non-canonical scripture and coming out of Babylon and black people are the true Hebrew Israelites. So I started watching all of this and really wanting to come out of Babylon and I like realized it's really messed up that all the Christians around me who are following Christ are always continuously breaking the law, statutes, and commands of God. Um, even though they have the books, they know that. They say they follow Jesus, but how are they following Jesus? Like, they're not, you know, Jesus wanted to do the will of his Father and keep the law, statutes, and commands, and the logic of Christianity around me doesn't make any sense. So, I started with watching Luke's videos, and then I found um, Truth Unveiled 777, and I started watching a lot of his videos, like, hours and hours and hours of them and again it was the same kind of truth but he also had a lot of um like fake news videos and then his channel got basically blocked by youtube so there's him and then i also found um following yeshua who god called him out of california to go to the ozarks and then i found pastor joe fox well i found pastor joe fox first and then he actually recommended um following yeshua so I just found all these, um, I was going to say homesteaders. I mean, they are, they are homesteaders. They do homesteading videos, prep videos, and truth videos about scripture. And all these people who are going out to the Ozarks, whose videos I was watching on YouTube, they're all trying to follow the law, statutes, and commands of scripture. And I really wanted to do that. And no one around me wanted to do that. And I was like, we should do this. Like, this is important this is important like I need to come out of Babylon and I remember <laughs> um Luke who's in Tennessee had the Feast of Tabernacles and I was like thinking I really want to go down there um for that festival that would be so awesome everyone down there is going to be following the law statutes and commands right because otherwise you know that's why they're celebrating the Feast of Tabernacles um, so I thought that would be really good, and then I didn't end up doing it, and I don't even know what happened. I didn't have money, couldn't take time off work, whatever. But I ended up later celebrating Sukkot in my yard, <laughs> sleeping in a tent, and I felt like I, w I was a crazy person, because no one else around me is doing it, and they're like, why are you doing that? And I'm like, well, it's, you know, you're supposed to celebrate Sukkot, this is how people celebrate it. And, you know, you go out and build forts and stuff. Um, but I didn't want to build a fort, so I just settled for a tent. And, um, yeah, it really, it, it kind of sucked to have to do it all by myself. And I really, really don't want to have to celebrate everything all by myself. So I was praying to God, like, can I go to the Ozarks? And, like, can I just be around these people who are trying to follow you? Because that's what I want for my life. Like, it's something strongly in my heart and in my spirit and like I need to do this and also it's part of like fleeing Babylon like what can I do to flee Babylon like it's a serious thing it's something I want to dedicate my life to um not just that but like following God like that's really important to me and I'm not very good at it and no one around me is trying to do that they follow God in the regular Christianity way celebrating Easter and Christmas, which is not in the Bible, and it's, it's a mess, <laughs> and I don't celebrate those things anymore, so I actually left my church more recently, but anyway, um, yeah, so I was praying about moving to the Ozarks, and maybe, I was like looking around, okay, I live in Vermont, <laughs> and I'm like, this seems like a wilderness, and I thought this before when following Yeshua was like saying, flee Babylon, get out of the cities, get out of the cities, I'm like, well... I live in the city because I live in a city, <laughs> but it's a city with the like working population of 8,000 people <laughs> and people come from like far away places like up near the border to come work around here because this is where we have good high paying jobs. Um, so yeah, there's all that and I was like looking around like, okay, we have a lot of mountains. It really looks like a wilderness here. <laughs> 
it kind of feels like I'm in a wilderness a little bit even though I'm in the city like and I've always wanted to like live out actually in the country like on a dirt road because you know in the city we all have paved roads but the good thing about that is when you walk places you're like way less likely if you're walking on pavement to get ticks than when you're doing a bunch of work in the woods anyway <laughs> that's that's besides the point um so I was like looking around okay this looks like a wilderness god maybe if you want you could send people here, please. <laughs> if that's your will, send them to Vermont. Maybe, please, please, please. I just need to be around people who follow you. And actually want to keep your law, statutes, and commands. So that was like the prayer of my heart. And then, Truth Unveiled 777 channel got shut down. Um, it was flagged, I think, three times from the false news videos. Which, I wish they weren't down. But, <laughs> anyway... I saw his like channel name like the thing that is on his main channel I saw that someone else posted it which was Daniel St. Germain and then I subscribed to Daniel St. Germain and then about a month and a half or two months later he said he was preparing a place in Vermont and I was like ah! you're coming to Vermont God God you're so good thank you so much for answering my prayers so now there's people coming here who follow and want to follow and serve God and keep the law, statutes, and commands. And it's so nice and it's so awesome. And I can't wait to meet them. And yeah, so that's why I wanted to go to the Ozarks to be around those people. And now God's sending them here, which is so great. And I can't wait until they come. I can't wait to meet them. And I don't know what their land looks like, but yo, I'm such a hard worker. We gonna bust some work out. It's gonna be awesome. Praise God. Anyway, so yeah, that's like my story of why I wanted to go to the Ozarks. And I'm really glad. I, I have a difficult time sometimes waiting. And I, again, I like, I messaged Daniel again today. I was like, um, when are you coming to Vermont? Like, <laughs> I really don't like waiting. I like to have what I want pretty much immediately. Um, but waiting includes an eagerness and an expectation and it with God it's a great expectation uh, I'm pretty sure he said I have plans for good and not to harm you so like and I've seen his work everything that God does is amazing it's like so astonishingly awesome and amazing so I'm pretty sure that's what it's still gonna be God doesn't change and I don't think he's gonna be like doing anything less than amazing I'm pretty positive of that <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's my story of why I'm not going to the Ozarks and why I did want to go there. But anyway, I made this video because I was messaging with someone and they said, oh, I didn't know you wanted to go there. And I was about to explain why. And it's obviously a long story because this is now an eight minute video. So that's all. Subscribe to my channel if you want. Come to Vermont if you want. Contact Daniel St. Germain. Watch his video. Subscribe to his channel. You know, don't even subscribe to me. I'm kind of boring and like... <laughs> <laughs> all the time so I mean I don't know if that's your kind of entertainment or whatever that's fine but yeah definitely subscribe to <laughs> Daniel St. Germain okay my friend's waiting for me and I have to go okay bye